Welcome to our weekly discussion of all things current in California politics. I'm Walt Gray. Joining us this week, reporter Emily Hoven, political expert for CalMatters.org. Emily, good to see you again. Uh, so the state budget was supposed to pass on Wednesday. What is the status of that and what's the governor think of it? Lawmakers face a June 15th constitutional deadline to pass a budget or go without their own paychecks. And so what they passed on Wednesday was largely a placeholder. It um, is an outline for how they, they want to spend California's $300 billion budget. But lawmakers and the governor continue to have sizable disagreements about how exactly they want to spend the money, including what type of rebate they want to give Californians for high gas prices and inflation. They also have in the budget these outlines for vast sums of money. So for example, they say, okay, we agree that we want to spend $21 billion on climate, but how exactly they're going to spend that money remains to be negotiated. And so now Newsom has about 12 days to either sign or veto the, the budget. So he will likely sign it so that California doesn't go unfunded. But mm -hmm. as I said, many details have yet to be negotiated. What is, uh, speaking of the state, what is their role with a shortage of housing, with a housing crisis? And that's another um, disagreement that we're sort of seeing crop up between Newsom and the lawmakers when it comes to housing. So obviously the state's pouring a lot of money into homelessness and housing. Democratic lawmakers have advanced this controversial idea that they would basically help Californians buy homes by the state sort of funding part of their down payment. And they want to issue $1 billion in bonds each year for 10 years to create this sort of loan fund to, to fund these homes. The governor, though, has not signed off on that idea. Mm -hmm. And so that's another central aspect of the things they're going to be negotiating and going back and forth on over the next couple of weeks and maybe even months. What is the state focusing on? Uh, we're still waiting to hear more about the uh, gas tax rebates or relief. What are some of the things that the, the state seems to be focusing on? I think we're seeing a really big contrast um, in how was, the state is prioritizing certain issues. You know, for months now, they've been fighting over how much money to give California in, in rebates. Should it be on a debit card or should it be a paper check? Mm -hmm. They've just been fighting and fighting and fighting, and we're really not seeing a lot of progress. Contrast that with the fact that um, this week, lawmakers very quickly advanced through several different committees um, a proposed constitutional amendment that would enshrine the right to abortion and contraception in California's constitution. If lawmakers pass that, it will go before voters on the November ballot. And part of the reason they're fast tracking it is they face a June 30th deadline in order to actually put it before voters. But you had some Republicans and some critics this week basically saying, you know, why are we putting so much on this bill when, you know, even if the Supreme Court nationally is going to overturn Roe versus Wade and the right to abortion, nothing's going to change in California, yet we can't address these gas issues and other cost of living issues when on July 1st, California's excise gas tax is going to go up by basically another three cents per gallon. Oh, wow. All right. That's our tour of California politics to the moment. El uh, Emily, thank you so much. Cal Matters, a nonpartisan news organization explaining California policies and politics. Find the work at calmatters.org. You can also sign up for Emily's newsletter there.